Welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. <coughs> Happy New Year. I'm here to do my best reads for 2019, which is some paperback, hardcover, and some on my Kindle because I love to read on all three. I am going to take a minimal time. I'm not going to read um, a lot, talk a lot about a book because of I have 19, so I have a big variety of books, so I'm not going to just talk a lot about the book. I'm just going to tell you a little bit of something, something about the book, and hopefully it'll be enough to grab your attention that you may be interested in getting the book. At number 19, this author reached out to me and sent me, wanted me to do a book review, so she sent me the E book and I read it on my Kindle and I just want to say I'm very impressed with her work. I love what I read and I am talking about Cycles of Hatred by Linda Heavener Jared. And I just want to say if you can see it's a guy and a girl, they're twins and the guy, the male, hates his sister and it's he's very jealous and he really hates her and I'm like, wow. The cycles continue because if you read a book, you'll see further on it starts within the family. And it's just going on with the cycles. This book was full of murder. It was suspenseful and betray, betrayal, betrayal, betrayal. Lord have mercy. It was in this book. I look forward to reading more from her in the near future. And I just want to say at my number... 18 is a memoir. If you know me and follow me, I read a lot of memoirs this year. And this is so happened to be one of my favorites. It was kind of sad. And at time, you you know, you wanted to cry because you felt for her. You know, I did. And something happened to her when she was a teenager. And it just like, to me, from that point on, everything just fell apart. And I am talking about no other than The Law of Supremes, The Life of the Dream Girl, Florence Ballard. It was written by Peter Benjamin. And I just want to say I love this book. It was a great read. At number 18, The Law of Supreme. And at number 17, I was debating if I wanted to really, you know, put this book on my list because it's a holiday book, but I was like, you know what? The book is good, so why not? People need to know because they can read it next year, you know? Well, this year, now. And I am talking about no other than side, A Sideline Christmas by Tony Shallow. And you have Jay and BB. Jay is a NFL football player, an injury happens. He has to come back home. They once was in a relationship. It fell apart during high school. And the thing is, sometimes you don't get a second chance. Read this book and find out if they get a second chance. I'm just going to say it was a great read. I loved it. Whew. It was very good. At number 16 is another memoir. This book was depressing at times. It would make you want to cry, feel sorry for him. And then other times you want like, oh, want to shake him. And I actually was so into this book that I feel like I knew him personally. And I am talking about There Never Be by Thomas DeBarge. I watched the uh, um the Bobby uh the Bodge story on TV one back in I think it was June and then I read this this had to be late July, August, and I just wanna say what was in this book and what was in that movie. Read this. This give you more info, more information about what really happened, what went down. And I was, you know, after watching the movie and reading this book, I was like, wow. 
Bobby really was a troubled person. Thomas was too, and if you read the book, you'll understand why. This was a great read, but like I said, get the tissue ready. It was kind of depressing. At time, it was. That was number 16. Number 15 is another memoir, and I just want to say that I love this book. I mean, it was, if you have a daughter, maybe even a son, I highly recommend this book because after reading this book, if they're on the wrong side of the tracks, they will want to get on the right side. And I'm talking about Free Centoria by Centoria Brown Long. Um, if you don't know the backstory, she killed her John, John, because she thought he was going to kill her. So she killed him. Either kill me or you be killed. And it just takes you on a journey of her life from young to a woman in prison. And it's just a great read. It really is. I enjoy reading this book. I actually finished it sooner than I thought I would. So I highly recommend this. Free Centauri at number 15. Number 14 on my list, someone I met about... I say now about a year and a half, almost two years. I went to a book event in Dallas, Texas. Girl, have you met? And this author was well. At the hotel I stayed at, they had transportation from there to the event. They took me and her, and we introduced each other. And we talked, and she was like, "I'm an author," and she she gave me one of her business card. I think I gave her a Robert's reading room card too and I am talking about no other than the lovely Chelsea Marie more than a crush in this book you have Chelsea and you have Gia I hope I'm saying her name right Chelsea who are good friends and both of them know they want to be more than friends they actually act like a couple and everything but they're in other relationships so when you're friends sometimes you don't want to cross that line so I highly recommend this to see what happens. You need to find out, do they cross that line or do they not cross that line? More Than a Crush by Chelsea Marie at 14. My number 13 is by a new author also. I was highly impressed with her story. And I'm talking about no other than Taken by a Billionaire. By Shiny Green Doll. Hope I'm saying your name right. This deals with the interracial love story. And it's so true to today. What's happening in the world with racism and everything. It just takes you on a journey. And I love this book. It's full of betrayal. Surprises. Twists and turns. What all what I love. I will say that. The next book. Is I read during Black History Month. In February of last year, highly recommend this book. This author was on my literary twin, Diane Members show, Diamond Literary War. He gave synopsis. He talked about the book, and I was like, I got to read that book. And I wound up reading it. And I am talking about no other than Black Heart, White Minds by Mitch Margot. It's, I'm just telling you, Mitch did an excellent job on this book, The Twists and Turns the murder, and everything. He gives you everything in this book. And I highly re recommend that you probably can read it next month for Black History, because it is next month. And he's at number 12. My number 11 book is by someone I met this past year at the Atlanta Kickback. Love her. And I was not ready for her writing. I mean, this book was so good. I did not want it to end. I mean, it deals with four teenage girls who are very close, wind up pregnant. What I love about this author is even though you make a mistake and you get pregnant, you still can make something of yourself, be successful, and go on with your life. And I am talking about no other than 
Never Again No More by the author Untamed. She did an excellent job on this book. I did not want it to end, like I said before. It was just that good. My next author, well, my next book, number 10, is by an author who I've had the honor of meeting twice. Once at her book event in February and again later on. And I just want to say, y'all is not ready for mm -mm. Honey, no, you're not. Love's Broken Bow by Honey. Mm, you have Priest, Nicholas Gregory, and Royce. You have a man who's faithful to God, love his God, love serving the Lord, his religion and everything. But then here comes Royce. And the attraction cannot be undenied. When you look at that cover, that's all I'm going to say. This book is full of it. It's full of. It gives you a little bit of everything in this book. Highly recommend that this book, Love's Broken Bow by Honey, at number 10. You will not go wrong. Trust. The next book, okay, he has a book that's highly recommended by everybody that loves him. Tells me to read. And I have it. I will not read because I know it's a part two coming. When I spoke with him back in August at the Atlanta Book Club conference, he said those characters are not talking to him, so I just have to wait a little while long, I guess. But I am talking about no other than Black Top with Bishop. Whew, this book right here is thick and something going on on each and every page. Betrayal. Jealousy. Murder, suspense, everything is, is in this book. I mean, I normally don't like reading a book with too many characters, but this book, the way it flows, you won't if you won't even mind it and you pay attention to all of that. Bishop by Black Top at number nine. My number eight is a book I picked up. I was like, let me read this book and see what he, this author's about because I have other books by him, but I just haven't gotten around to reading. And I was like, let me go to read something. At number eight, we have What Could Have Been by the Author Laurie. That's L-O-R-E if you cannot see. Sorry for the light. This book, all I got to say one thing. Sometimes love comes when you least expect it in a different place. That's all I'm going to say about this book. It is a true page turner. Believe me when I say that. The next author, I had the honor of meeting maybe, it was 2018 here in Atlanta at the Atlanta Social. It featured like maybe, I think it was like, four authors and I loved it because it was just four authors so I could support each author because sometimes these events can be too big and you you just can't you can't buy books from every one of the authors and sometimes I really feel bad because I really want to support my authors and he was there and I pretty much bought his whole catalog what he had there because we talked and I liked the way he talked and you know and I'm talking about no other and, and matter of fact he asked me in August to review this book and I had it along with other books I got from him. And I am talking about Molly Mikowski with If I Was Your Girlfriend. Mm. This book right here takes is about four lovely ladies who are very close, like real sisters. And one of them betrayed the other. And when that happens, they're divided. It's a torn situation. You have a crazy character by the name of Robert. As my name is, he was cool, 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 cool. This was a turn page, page turner. You would not be disappointed. When I was reading this book, I felt like I was watching Wait Until It's Hell, either Sex or the City. I had a friend who read it, and they told me that they felt like that it was like watching Girlfriends, which I never watched Girlfriends. I'm sorry. I just haven't seen that show. I heard it's an excellent show. One day, maybe I'll put it on my to-be-watch list. 
But anyway, this is at number seven, Molly McCoskey with If I Was a Girlfriend, A Truth Page Turn. You cannot go wrong with this one. My next book is by a new author also. This author here, I read before, but he's still rarely new to me. And I just want to say this book here, put him on the map for me. It did. And I am talking about Tears of the Sun by Jackson Grant. It deals with teenagers. You got one teenager who got his girlfriend pregnant at a young age. You got another one who is gay, but they're close friends. And you have other characters within the book. I'm just going to say, whew, that book was so good. He left, left us with a cliffhanger, and I'm, like, so anticipated reading part two because of what happened in book this book here, book one, Tears of the Sun by Jackson Grant. Again, it's on Amazon. At number six, my number five, love, love this author. This author here, always supporting. She likes my stuff. And she is so down to earth. Got a chance to read her first book. This is part of a series, I do want to say, because part two is already out. I haven't gotten a read, chance to read it yet. But this book right here, I was like, wow. So much was going on in this book. Twist and turn, murder, suspense. I felt like I was reading a James Patterson or Brandon Massey. I mean, she gives you everything. And I am talking about Compelled to Murder by E. Ray Turnick. I hope I said your name right. This book right here gives you the business for real. At number five. At number four, this author was highly recommended to me by a friend of mine who I met at Girl Have You Met when I was in Dallas at that book event by the name of Miss Lovely Shauna Jackson. She was like, oh, have you read her? She's real good. I was like, no, let me check out. So then I started seeing her reviews, this author reviews, and I was like, wow, I got to read something by her. And when I said I read this book within two days, it was so good. I went and bought another one of her series in paperback. I haven't had a chance to get to. I'm highly, highly anticipating reading this author again. And I am talking about Fall Black in Love When Harry Met Millie by D. Camille. D. Camille, baby, she is the truth. I love her writing style, her flow of the pages, how she tells what's going on. You will not be lost. She keep your attention. Whew. This book here deals with another book. Young teenagers making mistakes but still become successful True Love, Prevail. It, I mean, this book is wonderful. I mean, it's part of a series. This is book one. I can't wait to get to the other three books because it's four books. So I can't wait to read the other one. And that's Fall Black in Love by D. Camille at number four. My number three. Whew. I heard so much talk about her. My literary twin, Diane Member, read her last year. Read one of her no novel novels that everybody is talking about. I still have not read it, but I do have it. I, so I'm going to go a different route. I'm reading something about her the first of the year, which was tw 2019 in January, and I did just that. And when I say I wasn't, I wasn't ready for this author, but I'm going to let you know who it, I'm talking about. Work Song by Danielle Allen. After reading this book, it made me look at meeting someone on your job different and having a relationship with them different. 
And once you get a relationship, can you still have that relationship and work at the same place? Okay. I was, after reading this, I look at it different now. I really do. Thanks, Danielle, for a wonderful book. And thanks, Crystal Renee, for it talking about this book and telling my literary twin that I remember about it because I would have never knew about it. That's what got me to really want to read this book. And this book is awesome. And at number two, when I say it was hard for me for a long time, this book was my number one read for 2019 until I read my number one it was so hard to pick between these two books because these two books is the best books I've read in 2019. But after reading the number one, I was like, oh, I got to give it to number one. And at number two, with no further ado, I am talking about Welcome to My World by Curtis Bond. This book was everything. You have two people from two different sides of the world. I guess you could say that. You have the character, Brenda Harris, who is successful, who loses her job. And then you have, I want to talk a little bit more about this book because this book really was touching to me because this book deals with um, bipolar mental illness. And when I say, as you read this book, you think one thing, but once you get to the end, it's, it's a whole nother story. You have betrayal in this book. You have true love. You have bonding in this book. You have Rodney, who is homeless, who says his family is dead. But when you find out what triggered him to become homeless, you're going to be like, wow. That's all I'm going to say about this, because you really need to support Curtis Bond and read this book. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Weapon to My World by Curtis Bond is my number two for 2019. This was an awesome read. Please get it. You would not be disappointed. I actually got this book probably in 2017 at his book signing here in Atlanta. Actually, I want to say, let me see. He signed the book. Yeah, he signed it. You may not can see it, but he did sign it for me. I look forward to reading more of his material because this was a touching book because there's so many of us that have a mental illness or depressed, needs help, do not seek it, and it can just mess up your life, your loved one life, everyone around you. My number two again is Welcome to My World by Curtis Bunn. With no further ado, I'm about to reveal my number one. My number one for 2019. Found out it was coming out in the spring of 2019. And I was like, whoa. I got to read. I cannot wait to read this book. I was so anticipating reading this book. I got it two weeks before it was released. Yes, I have a little hookup every now and then. I can get books before they release. But this book right here was everything. And I'm talking about no other than A Song For You by Robin Crawford, My Life with Whitney Houston. When I tell you this book is, she did this with tasteful class, a dedication to her friend Whitney. I don't care what other people say. I've heard negative people talk about this book. Why is she doing this? She just Want it for her money and calling her out her name and stuff. Why now? Because she can. She felt time. It was, it was right for her timing. I think she did right too. Cause why not? Sissy did her book. Bobby did his book. Even BB Winers did his book. 
why she can't tell her story. And then I heard one comment, oh, why she doing that? That's her best friend. She's telling secrets. She shouldn't. She probably didn't tell us everything. You saying that, but I'm pretty sure she didn't tell everything. You know, this was a a must read. I learned so much more about Whitney that I did not know in her, her family situation and her. So this was my number one read for 2019. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Robert's Reader Room and Reviews, my YouTube channel. I'm on Instagram as Robert's Reader Room and Robert's Reader Room. And then my Facebook page is Robert Reader Room and Reviews also too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check out some of these bookies if you get a chance. Until next time, happy readings.